hey guys i'm real mokong and welcome to my channel in this video i will show you how to use and download my render settings or the lumen effect that i use in my animation project and for those who haven't seen my animation project i will just put a link in the description below or simply go to my youtube channel and browse for that video using these settings it will give you an instant improvement in your renders you will not get one but three render settings that will be available for download and this will be for free so keep watching this video and i'll be back after this intro Lately, I've been receiving a lot of messages in my Facebook page asking about my render settings and most of them they are requesting if I could share it for free. Yes, you can download this guys for free but before that, I will show you what are the settings that you will download and when you download this file, it will come in a winrar file there are three settings you will receive one for exterior one for interior and one for the night setting and for the bonus you will get this wide screen png where you can use this if you want to render your animation in cinematic format later i will show you how to use this wide screen png so for our example, we have this exterior scene from my animation project and we will try to load our render effects or render settings. So we will go to menu, file, load effects and we will choose exterior settings and we open. Now we will try to make a preview of our animation clip. now it's looking good and for our render settings we have a stack of uh, effects so i'm gonna start with the image overlay in image overlay we will try to add our widescreen png now once we added our widescreen png we have these black bars at the top and the bottom this makes our scene uh, more cinematic okay so we go back so if you don't want to have this image overlay you can simply delete or disable this effect or for me i just leave it as that okay now next is we go to your skies so for this you can change the real sky or the HDR but for me I will leave it like this and next is for this render settings i didn't include the layer visibility effects it's because most of the lumion users don't use these effects and if you're using it we may don't have the same assignment of layers so it's better to add it manually so we go to effects under objects then layer visibility gonna move this down so in layer visibility effect I will try to add the layer for my trees so to add that is to make a keyframe at the start of the animation here and I will try to 
turn on the trees okay, just like that so we can make a preview of this now it's looking good there are so many uses of this effect you can use this when you want to turn on or turn off your lights i do have a tutorial for that and advanced lighting tutorial in lumion so i'm gonna leave you a link in the description below and the other use of this is for lumion scene optimization it's a method that i've been using to op optimize my scene so even though i do have a lower end graphics card uh, gtx 1060 the 6 gb version i can still work around even though for our larger scenes and for this one as you can see in our scene our trees are turned on but if we go back to the build mode We don't have our trees turned on and it is more lighter and faster to work with okay so this is just one of the method that i've been using for scene optimization i do have a lot more so if you want me to make a tutorial for that just leave your comments below okay we go back to the movie mode now we will go to the reflection effect then we will add our reflection planes okay okay just leave our quality to normal Okay, now we go to the next page okay next is if you have object that you want to focus and you have to blur the background you can use the deep of fill okay you can turn this on but you don't have like this for example you can leave this disabled so those are the effects that you will just to touch in this render settings and leave the other effects as it is so we try to make a preview again i think we can final render this clip and let's see how it will turn out now this is the result of our render it looks good but it's not perfect there are some flaws but i can still correct that in the post processing so as a tip if you are rendering in lumion do not look for that special or perfect render setting all you have to do is to have a good render even there are some flaws because you can still correct that in the post processing in rendering as much as possible do not make your scene warmer or colder or giving it a tint like magenta or make it more greenish or making it, it more saturated or under saturated to have a good render we want to achieve that natural look so why we are doing that it's because in post-processing it will undergo color correction and color grading color correction it simply means making your video look more natural your shadows contrast highlights etc it should be adjusted to look more natural so in lumion make your render as close to that natural look so that you will have much easier and faster time to color correct and for color grading 
it is simply making or giving your video a style or look by giving it a color scheme now looking at our output using my settings it may look different from my animation project which because my animation project has already been post processed let me show you the result of that post process as you can see it's been color corrected and color graded i'm using a little bit of teal and orange look for our color grading having some style in your color grading would give your video a much more better look maybe in my future tutorial i could share to you how i make my post processing from color correction to color grading so if you are interested just leave your comments below now to download my render settings all you need to do is to like this video and subscribe to my channel because this is only available to my subscribers you can find the download link in the description below i hope you find this video helpful so subscribe now and download my settings and i see you in my next video thank you bye